As regular viewers will know, we're fans of Teltonica Professional Routers, and we've been waiting for them to produce a 5G LTE capable one. Well, we've managed to get our hands on the latest RUTX50 router, which is the first to use 5G. So keep watching to see what we think. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I know what you didn't like. Our friends at solwise.co.uk have very kindly lent us this Teltonica RUT X50 to try out. Now, let's be honest, at £566, and that is using our 10% Explore Van discount code, this isn't going to be in everyone's budget. But if you really do want to be able to get the best speeds possible from the cellular network, is this the device to choose? So what's its unique selling point compared to other Teltonica routers? Well, it's got a 5G modem, which is capable of speeds of up to 3.3 gigabits per second. Anywhere that 5G isn't available, it is backwards compatible to category 20 4G+, allowing aggregation of multiple carrier bands. Like all Teltonica routers, it's built for the harsh life on the road, and unlike most routers, comes as standard with four LTE external antenna connections, giving you the option to connect a 4x4 MIMO external antenna, so you can make the best use of all the LTE bands available. With its dual SIM slots, it's able to switch automatically between two different networks and can also be used to boost the connection to a Wi-Fi hotspot. And if this fails, it will fail over to the mobile networks. It's also able to load balance between a Wi-Fi connection and a mobile connection, enabling you to benefit from both simultaneously. It has built-in GPS to enable it to work as a tracking device and provide notifications if it moves. As with all Teltonica industrial routers, its configuration settings are extensive, enabling you to be fully in control of what services and bands it connects to. But as it has both advanced and basic configuration modes, it's also really easy to use if you just want to plug and play. It has both 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi with the latest security protocols allowing up to 150 devices to connect to its Wi-Fi, which can be managed through multiple access points which could each be prioritised. It can be controlled remotely by SMS or using Teltonica's remote management service, and should you want to, it can integrate with many Internet of Things and smart home platforms. Now let's get hands-on and see what's in the box. We've got a quick start guide with links to the full manual, an ethernet cable, two mag mount Wi-Fi antennas, a mains power unit and an external GPS antenna, four unit mounted LTE antennas, SIM adapters and access pin, and of course the unit itself. One option is to use the unit with the supplied unit mounted LTE antennas, but as we all know, being inside a metal box compromises this. Luckily, the pointing 7-in-1 MIMO 317 model is a perfect match for the RUT X50, having built-in 4x4 MIMO LTE antennas, 2x2 Wi-Fi antennas and a GPS antenna. Something to be conscious of is that Teltonica wisely used different versions of the SMA connectors for the LTE and Wi-Fi antennas to make it hard for you to mix them up, but pointing provide converters to make sure you can connect the MIMO 3.
The IUTX50 is just as flexible on voltage as the other Teltonica routers, being able to use anything from 9 volts up to 30 volts. We're using our Smarty SIM who include 5G as standard on all their plans. With their no-nonsense plans, no throttling, restrictions or contract, we have found them great and superb value. You can find a link in the video description that will even get you a £10 gift card when you sign up to any plan if you want to try them out. After fitting the SIM, it's as simple as plugging in the power, and waiting for the router to do its thing to connect. We've shortened the sequence because it's a bit boring to watch, but you can see at the end it is connected to 5G with a reasonable signal. We're not going to do any configuration, we're just going to try it out based on its standard out of the box setup. Here we've got our 5G phone, and as you can see, inside it's connected to HSDPA+, not 5G. But if we put the phone outside, we can see there is actually a 5G signal that it connects to. So we've moved the van a bit closer to that signal, and now we can get a 5G signal on the phone inside the van. So let's see what speeds we get. So being inside the van, we can see it's severely affecting the performance of the 5G with only a 1.86 megabits per second download and 0.18 upload. Now let's try the IUTX50 using that external antenna. First we're going to make sure we're using the same speed test server, just so there's consistency, and then let's see how it performs. So 225 megabits per second download, and 17.5 upload is a great performance. We all know that 5G is not available everywhere, so let's see how they perform in an area with only a 4G signal. So let's start by testing the phone's own cellular connection on 4G. So a reasonable 6.7 download, but unfortunately it can't do any upload. So let's try our Huawei 4G router using a pointing MIMO antenna. So with this we get 9.6 download speed and 17.1 up. And let's compare that to the IUTX50 on 4G. And we see a better download speed of 11.8. and an upload of 14.7. So what do we think about the RUT X50? Well, as we said, it's not going to be for everyone, but if you are travelling in areas that have 5G coverage and you want the best speeds possible on both 4G and 5G, then it's an amazing unit, having all the advantages of the other Teltonica routers we have loved with the added benefit of that 5G speed. The 4x4 MIMO antenna connections really put it in a class pretty much of its own when it comes to cellular internet. Now, at the price of the hardware, you have to consider how it stacks up to Starlink satellite internet. Well, from our perspective, while Starlink promises excellent coverage and performance, the running costs are still extremely high. If we look to the first year's costs of the RUTX50 with the pointing antenna and Smarty Unlimited plan, it would be £1,090, with future years being only £240. With Starlink, you would be looking at £1,600 in year one and 1140 for each year after. We are planning to try out Starlink during our summer trip this year so do keep subscribed so that you can see how we get on.
So if the RUTX50 is for you, don't forget you can use our Explore Van discount code to get it from solwise.co.uk for £566 currently. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.